Good day, welcome back to my channel, Silver Flyer. Today, what I'd like to cover is the differences and my opinions on the differences between stacking, numismatics, and semi-numismatics, and deciding which you are. Now, to start off, I'd like to say that this is not financial advice. It's completely my opinion, and you can derive your own opinions from what you learn here and from other channels, other, other people's ideas. You should formulate your own ideas and what's best for you. So starting off, uh, stacking. Stacking to me is basically you're after metal, whatever type of metal it is, in this case, silver and gold. Uh, you're into collecting uh, or stacking, as we say, is uh, getting as much as possible for the best price. And to keep that in order to diversify your, your investment and uh, also secure your wealth, hedge your bets basically against the fiat dollar and uh, well, possible SHTF situations. Collecting is basically, for me, is a hobby. Uh, I do have a, a few examples here of different types of numismatic and semi-numismatic. Now, uh, for me, there are some disadvantages and advantages to this that outweigh what I get out of stacking for me personally. So let's start with uh, stacking. Basically over here on the left, you have some examples, but, uh, a large 100 ounce bar, 10 ounce bar, and some small one ounce bars. You have your round and coins, the maple leaf and the silver eagle, and a gold maple leaf and a gold bu uh, bullion bar. These are the basics. Also, you can get into stacking with junk silver, constitutional silver, as you call it in the United States. Um, it's another good way to buy silver, pretty close to spot value, and um, have some uh, extra value to your, your stack. So what I like about stacking is it's not speculative. It's completely market-driven. Um, it gets away from the fiat-based currency and investments, it diversifies your investments, and basically hedges your bet uh, against, uh, example, a fiat collapse. Uh, you can buy it in bulk. You can, if you do so, you can usually get uh, pretty good prices and bring down that premium a little bit. Um, I had some questions on my first video about, hey, where did you get that great price over spot on, you know, uh, 300 uh, uh, snow falcons, the 1.5 snow falcons. And well, I'm going to just answer that quickly here. I dealt with the general manager and I bought in bulk. So once I got up to around, you know, an $18,000 order, uh, he was definitely willing to start uh, working with me on the price uh, quite far from what they had listed on their internet, uh, their internet price or the website. So, uh, those are most of the advantages with stacking for me. Uh, some of the disadvantages, well, it's a long-term gain. You're not gonna flip it quickly um, unless uh, you're not gonna see a big increase in your investment unless something happens to the fiat or SHTF situation. Um, it's not as much fun. Uh, it's kind of boring, just generic coins, generic rounds, bars. They're not really artistic or anything like that. Some of them are nice. I mean, these Monarch metal um, small bullion bars are kind of pretty. They're kind of fun to hold on to, but honestly, there's not much interest in this. Uh, moving on to semi-numismatic, which I think is good for people who want to maybe flip, a little bit of speculating as to what the value will be in the future, and maybe collecting too. Uh, you can also buy semi-numismatics in bulk. Um, I would suggest doing so soon after release. So for example, a 2019 Panda, it does have a bit higher premium than um, you know, the US or Canadian coins, but it's different every year. It's uh, somewhat artistic and people really do like them. And there are collectors out there who will pay, you know, maybe two, three years down the road when they can't get them commercially anymore. So you can probably put this on eBay for maybe two, three times the price. So in this example, you bought maybe a hundred and you got it down, got the premium down to a nice, uh, you know, low level over the spot price. 
and you hang on to those for two or three years. You buy a hundred every year. So down the road, you have some to sell every, every year or constantly as, as you want to. So three years down the road, this might be worth two or three times what it was bought for. And I can take that money and put it back into the stack at uh, two or three times the ounces. So it's a good strategy. Also, it's a little bit more interesting. You have your art, you can have themes as well, uh, whether it be sports, history, um, uh, military type stuff. Uh, you know, I have some of the commemorative stuff over here. Um, but uh, yeah, so what are we at here? Uh, some of the disadvantages, um, you know, it's, uh, it's speculation, number one. If there is a fiat collapse, whether you're in semi or fully numismatic, and I'd say especially fully numismatic for this, um, you know, if there's a collapse, that people aren't going to have that same amount of money. They're not going to be looking to collect. They're not going to be looking to spend four, five, ten times what something is worth as its metal content, just for the sake of having it. So for example, um, you have this Roman coin here. This is about, I think around seven grams of silver. So you're, you know, a few bucks. And I bought it for 200 Canadian, which is about $150 American. It's a nice coin. I'm, I love the history behind this, you know, and it's something that interests me. So it's a lot more fun to have this, but if we ever come into an economic collapse, it's gonna be worth its weight in silver, to be honest with you. And that's my opinion. Um, so yeah, you rely totally on the fiat system in order for your numismatics to have true value. So you have to be in it, I think, as a hobby, as an interest, something, a theme, right? I have the aviation theme here, and aviation, space and aviation. Um, it is more, much more complicated and there's some mistakes to make, especially for a new person. So if you're just getting into it, I would say, you know, take, pick your interest, pick a, a theme, pick a type of coin and learn about that and that only to, to start off with. As you go on, time goes on, you can learn about more. But if you go out there and try to buy everything, a uh, little bit of everything, you're probably gonna make mistakes and overpay for stuff a little bit because that's what happens on the market, right? You go on eBay, you start bidding on something, somebody else is bidding on it, and you, you end up you know, putting in the, the bid because you really want that, and you end up paying too much for it. So again, uh, this isn't any financial advice, but it's the thought process that I went through to decide you know, what interests me, and I lean towards uh, stacking, basically. I want the metal, I want uh, hedge my uh, investments, hedge my bets against the fiat system, and uh, to have long-term uh, wealth security. Now on the side, I'm gonna dabble in this stuff because it interests me, and eh, hopefully I make a little bit of money out of it one day, but that's not really why I buy this stuff. So you decide what works best for you. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate any of your comments, suggestions, uh, maybe you can teach me because I'm still learning. I'm new at this and I'm just sharing what I've learned so far. It's a steep learning curve. And uh, if you like, uh, like this, hit the like button and maybe subscribe. Thanks for joining me.